Welcome to this tutorial brought to you by River City Graphics. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use CSS selectors with parent-child relationships. So to get started we're going to open up Dreamweaver. And I have my basic setup here. I have an index.html file and a style.css file. Those two are linked together using this link tag in the header section. So to get started, um, basically what you need to understand is what a parent-child relationship is. So briefly, um, whenever you put an element, a tag, within Dreamweaver, you'll usually have one and then inside of that you'll have another one. So right here we have like say our head tag, this would be the parent, and then anything within the head tag is going to be a child, so these meta tags and the link tags. Um, another example of that is actually going to be what we're using, so I'm going to come down into our body and we're going to make a simple list. So I'm going to say ul, and so this is going to be um, an unordered list, and so I'm going to just make a closing ul tag, and inside of that I'm going to make two or three um, separate li or list items. So we're going to do our opening and closing list tags and list items there. So I'm just going to paste those down. So now we should have a ul wrapping up three different um, li's. So basically here our parent relationship is this ul is the parent and then anything within that um, is the children. So that is these li's right here. So what we need to do is actually just take and put some text in this. So I'm going to say first for this one because we kind of want to see a difference um, in them a little bit. Uh, so I'm going to put some text in them that's different. So for the middle one I'm going to say only because we'll be um, dealing with that as well. And then this last one we'll just say last in it. And then for the UL, um, we're going to need to give that an ID so that we can select the LI within it. So for UL, I'm going to say space ID equals, and then I'm just going to say list. That will be the name for that. So then we'll go over to our CSS and I can put a pound sign or hashtag list, open curly bracket, hit enter a couple times, and a closing curly bracket. So now if we want to see what we've done, we can go over to our index page and we can preview this in Firefox. And you can see that we have a nice little list there with our text showing. So what we want to do is probably make that a little bit bigger so it's easier to see. So I'm going to start with font size. So we'll say font size and we can put it at like, I don't know, 50 pixels or something ridiculously large. So that should be good so we can see everything on YouTube. So there we go first, only, and last. So what we're going to be doing is you can see that we can basically target all of these right here. If I were to go over to my CSS page and we were to make a color and I were to pick say something like green and I saved it, then I go back over to Firefox and refresh it, all of these turn green. Now let's say that we wanted the first one in the list to be different. We wanted it to be blue um, or we wanted the last one to be different. We wanted it to be red or something like that. What we're going to be doing is actually selecting these um, separately using CSS selectors. So I'm going to come over here and what we need to do is we're technically selecting the UL right here so we want to make sure we put this on the LI. So I'm going to say list and then space LI. Um, it should look the same. So what we're going to do is copy that and we want to hit enter and we'll paste it down. So now we have something that's on um, the exact same. So I'm going to take and we can leave the font size um, and what we need to do is change the color. And so we're going to just pick a different color. So pound sign and then we'll pick blue. And we want this to be applied only to the first one. So in order to do that, we're gonna go right next to this LI. I'm gonna space this out so you guys can for sure see what this says. So we're gonna say LI and then a colon. Then we're gonna say first and then a dash or a hyphen. And then we're going to say child. So it's first dash child. So if we save that, refresh our page over here, we're going to see that the first one changes to blue while the other ones remain green. So it's basically saying for the first one use blue and then for anything else make sure it's making them green. So now you can also do this for last. So if we copy this and we can paste it down here, we'll say instead of first, we'll say last dash child. And then we can change this color to say red. That'll work. We'll come over here to Firefox. And you can see now first one is blue. The other one is pulling from the overall CSS rule and it's green and this one is red. So now if we go back over to Dreamweaver, there's another one I want to show you. If we delete out our last child, we can take and change this first one to only. Now if we wanted to do that now, um, if we came over and refreshed it, it wouldn't do anything because we don't have any only children. You can see that we have um, three children here and not just one. So in order to actually have this one apply, um, in some circumstances you will need it. You want to delete out the other ones um, and you can now refresh your page after saving and you'll see that we have our first one and it's blue and not green even though we have this green one up here because it's selecting the only child and making it blue. 
All right, so the last thing I wanted to show you guys is how to use the not selector. So um, what we're going to do is basically say, uh, we can take all of this out. So we wanna make it back down to the uh, hashtag list uh, space li. So we're just going to make it just like the default. And we're going to go over here and we're going to put back in our li. So I'm just going to undo. And so now what we wanna do is basically specify that we want everything except the uh, first one to be blue. So we'll leave the first one green and then everything else is going to be blue. So we're going to say um, for all li that are not, so we're going to do a colon not, and then we're going to say open parenthesis, close parenthesis, and then go back inside of those parentheses and we're going to do a colon first dash child. Okay? So this is basically saying that anything that's not the first child needs to be blue. And then the first child will be applied to this green one that's up here, um, which is selecting everything. So if we hit save and we go over and refresh this, it'll bring back all of them. And you can see that everything else is blue except the first child. So it's basically saying no blue for you first child, but there is blue for everything else. So you can really combine that not um, selector with a couple of other ones in order to actually get some pretty cool results. So something you might actually use this on, um, you're probably not gonna be coloring lists, um, you might actually be doing that, but something that I've used it on is basically if you wanna have kind of a more fancy navigation, so you have your menu on your website, a lot of times you'll have a horizontal menu and you'll have all of your um, items in there and you want to have like a background image or something like that. Now on the first one you kind of want to have like a rounded end or something on it and then the other ones you just want to be rectangles. So if you were to just um, use just LIs then all of them would be rectangles and you wouldn't be able to specify that you want the first and last one to have those kind of fancy rounded edges. So what you would use is this um, first and last in order to actually change out um, the size and the uh, background image on just specifically those list items. So there's a lot of different uses for it. That's just something that I've used it for. Um, I found it very helpful. So uh, make sure and check that out and be aware that you can use those selectors uh, when necessary. So thanks for watching this video. I hope you guys learned something. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment. I do have a new video coming out every week. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.